I googled the word healer and it comes up as a person who claims to be able to cure a disease or a disorder using their special powers. Now, I absolutely disagree with this definition because I don't feel that these powers are special. I feel that this ability is actually inherent in the human experience. I feel as a human, we have the ability to be healers just simply by setting our intention, by focusing our perception on that healed state. Now, what I'm talking about is the quantum field. Now, healing to me is shifting my vibration to a different frequency or a different version of reality in which I am healed or I am whole. So for an example, say a person has a broken leg. So that person with the broken leg is in a certain vibration and is in a certain version of reality in the quantum field where their leg is broken. Now, what that person needs to do is to find that version of reality in which their leg is not broken. So the healing process is kind of an illusion. It's really us taking quantum leaps, jumping from one version of reality to the next on the timeline. It looks like we're going through a healing process when in reality, we're slowly changing our mind about the ailment or the broken leg or the disorder. We're slowly changing our perspective into the version of reality in which we are healed. Now, I feel that anyone can hold the template for that healed state. In fact, that's probably the best thing that you can do for anybody who's hurting, in pain, who is experiencing any type of ailment, is to literally hold the space, the vibration, or the template of reality in which they are healed. So the healed state exists in the quantum field. Anyone who's come up against the threshold of pain that is willing to change their experience, that is, to me, a definition of a healer. The definition of a healer, to me, is anyone who has focus their intention to shift realities. It's like the person who has suffered enough, the person who has come up against that threshold of pain can then change their mind about that reality and shift into the healed state. So there's so much stigma around the word healer and there's a lot of spiritual ego concerning this. And I've really, I've really seen it on my journey because honestly, I didn't expect myself to be in this position. I wasn't trying to become a healer per se. Um, I didn't grow up in an ashram, you know? I wasn't exposed to spirituality. I had to basically live my life going through painful experiences, coming to a place of extreme suffering to the point where I surrendered and said, I've had enough. What can I do to change my experience? And then the universe sort of opened up to me and was like, here you go, Danielle. Here's the way. You can change your intention. You can change your focus. I really feel that I was just a girl that had enough of suffering. I was tired. I needed to change my focus. So it got me into a place of doing healing work. Now, I just so happen to be in that profession now, but I did not seek this. It was not something that, you know, I intentionally said when I was a little girl, I wanna do healing work. No, it was some sort of rite of passage. It's sort of like an initiation through suffering and pain. And I feel like I'm not special in the way that anyone can go through this. Anyone can get to that place on their journey where, you know, they just surrender to the healing process and what it is that it will take to get them to a place of wholeness and peace within themselves.
anyone with a heart-based intention who wants to focus healing energy can make a difference, can change the vibration of the reality of the quantum field. Don't let society tell you that healers don't exist or that you don't have the special gift. You do. It's all up to you and whether it is your intention to focus on that healing. Don't limit yourself. Know that you are a healer. You have the ability to change people's lives through your intention. That's my message for you and sending you so much love.